All right, today I'm back here with Tools. We're gonna unbox this Flex four tool, two battery, one charger combo kit. Now I did not buy this, Flex did send this to me. And just so you guys know, I already did do a video on these. I'll put them up there and in the description as we go along. Right at the bat, there's a five year warranty on the tools, batteries, and chargers. Now, like I said before, I'm not really a fan of this style of a work light, but every brand has a work light like that that come in kits. And so yeah, let's uh, unbox this. All right, so right out of the bat, you do get uh, a big bag with this. Let's see. So this is how it's actually this is how it's actually set up. All it looks like all instructions and extra stuff is in the one bag. All right, so this comes with two 2.5 amp hour batteries. Now these are not the new lithium stack batteries. Battery is drained. Battery is drained. I do love the uh, battery indicator uh, light on there. It is nice and big and in your face. All right, so the charger, this is model number FX0411. It is 120 volt, 60 hertz at 160 watts. It is a fast charger with a cooling system in there. All right, so there are, uh, there is a single belt clip in this and there's actually a couple of bits. Belt clip, a bit holder and two, uh, two one inch bits. Then we have the reciprocating saw. We will be using an orbital feature for this. That's actually, that's actually not a bad, I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger than this. If you do a size comparison, uh, this is the Milwaukee uh, Super Sawzall. I like that. This does have orbital feature. Orbital feature switch right there. Does have a rafter hook. It's actually a pretty nifty design for the lock. And yeah, that's not bad. So I'll put the specs, I'll put the specs in as, uh, as we go. There is an easy button on the bottom to take the shoe off. Just like that. And it's adjustable. And the shoe itself is adjustable as well. Single LED light right, uh, right by the shoe. All right, so here we have the variable trigger only impact driver. I'll put, I'll show the specs in, I'll show the specs as we go along. Single LED light on the base. Is this a quick insert collet? See, I'm not gonna lie. Nope, the collet is not quick insert. You need to adjust the collet as you go along. All right, I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to, when it comes to, uh, to these two, I like this, uh, I like this collet better than the one that's on here. Uh, this is their higher end one. This is FX1371A. I, I, I'm just a fan of the, of the traditional collet. Versus video is coming up. Uh, I already uploaded it and did a versus video of this. It's like every other brand there are, the variable trigger version is normally weaker than the more expensive version with, uh, speed selector modes. And so yeah, the, I, I already uploaded it, but at this point in this video, I can't wait to test this out.
Yeah, that's having major issues. So as you can see, that one had major issues. Let's see in how this one does. Time. All right, then we have the regular drill driver. These are all brushless tools, by the way. I'll show the specs as we go along. I do think it's awesome that you are able to put the handle that you get on, that you get from the hammer drill. On speed two. Time. But this has a 21 point clutch plus one for drill plus one for drill two speed settings fully metal chuck at speed two speed one not too shabby yeah i can't wait to test these out and so yeah, you already saw the specs, you already saw the specs for this, so not too shabby. And the last that's in the kit is the flashlight. Because uh, I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to these type of lights, I'm really not a fan. This battery and the position like that just makes it very bottom heavy. Not too shabby though, is there any other modes on this or is it just one? No, it's just one. Uh, oh, yeah, there is. So that's full. Bright, that's full brightness. You tap it, it goes one down. Then it goes off. But not too shabby. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of these type of lights, but it's in the kit in, in case you need it. I want to talk about the one that I'm really surprised about. I'm surprised on the size of this. Like, I seriously thought that this was going to be a huge reciprocating saw like the Metabo 36 volt to where it's just huge and bulky. It's actually a nice size. Let's do another comparison against the Hilti. End to end, the Hilti is approximately an inch and a half longer. So it's actually not that bad. So like, I am seriously surprised on the size of this. And I can't wait to test this out. Plenty of verses coming out with this, especially once I, whenever I get the brand new uh, lithium stack batteries, I will be doing a videos on that to see how they are against the older version of the batteries also when it comes to the regular drill driver there's no turbo mode on this it's just a regular drill driver i am going to test this out against the other drill drivers that i have versus videos are coming like pretty much immediately with this and i'm excited about that once again this is model number fx 1151 not too shabby not too shabby at all yeah that's uh that's metal right there that's you know like a yeah this is metal right there it's a, these tools are actually nice, except for this one. This one is not nice because you guys know the cheaper variable trigger version of the impact driver usually isn't that great compared to the little bit more expensive version with a speed selector. And so it, it's going to have its purpose. It's going to have, you know, a, a certain amount of power, but I guarantee you, and I didn't even do the video yet, that this one is going to completely dominate this one and yeah this one is a very powerful impact driver that's up there with everybody with all the other brands like majorly up there but yeah so but i do have variable trigger only versions of the other brands as well and that's what we're going to test against this one and so yeah but it's already out there versus videos of these two if you wanted to decide if you need the variable trigger only or the speed selector which i'd go for the speed selector for any brand not just flex the variable trigger only has its has its limitations but like i said all these uh, like these videos are already out please go check them out so that's pretty much it, you guys i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time